हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर जनरली गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस एमसीक्यूज बेस्ड ऑन प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर सो प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग इज बेसिकली दीज आर दी सेक्टर व्हिच इज गिवन प्रायोरिटी ओवर अदर सेक्टर एंड व्हिच इज डिफाइंड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज आरबीआई सो दीज आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एरियाज फॉर द ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडियन इकॉनमी सो today we are going to practice uh, question based on uh, priority sector lending or uh, psl norms okay so whenever you talk about priority sector like uh, uh, if you talk about uh, the categories so we have eight ma major categories like agriculture msme uh, export uh, credit education housing social infrastructure renewable energy and others which means uh, the um, uh the the, the uh, weaker section okay so let's uh, start with uh, the question so we will practice number of question based on psl which is definitely going to help you in your upcoming examination please uh, do like and share this session okay so first question on your screen which of the following is not part of priority sector so as i told you we have eight sectors which are generally categorized uh, priority sector for indian economy and uh, the guidelines regarding these are generally issued by rbi to uh, banks in india okay so out of these uh, four which is not part of priority sector so what will be your correct answer banking okay so banking is generally not part of priority sector ha huh? like uh, the other initiatives through banking are part of priority sector so if you talk about the categories under priority sector so we have these eight categories agriculture uh, msme export credit education housing social infrastructure renewable energy and weaker section or others okay so these are the eight sectors uh, which are uh, very important for the development of uh, indian economy so that's why rbi they generally categorize this sector as uh, a priority sector and uh, Uh, there are some uh, special provisions which are generally given uh, to this particular area uh, or even there are some set of guidelines which is generally issued by uh, rbi towards the bank and these guidelines are generally known as psl norms okay and uh, uh, if you are running a banking business in india so you have to follow these particular guidelines next one domestic commercial bank including public sector bank private sector bank have to lend what percentage of their respective anbc adjusted net bank credit to the priority sector so this is a very straight forward question okay so whenever we talk about priority sector so it is um, for every uh, for different different type of bank we have different different limits like for uh, if you talk about the rrbs it is 75% for regional rural banks uh, or for uh, cooperative banks it will be 75% by 2024 for small finance bank again it is 75% okay so now the question is generally based on domestic commercial bank so domestic commercial bank they have to lend what percent so what will be your correct answer 40% of their total lending so adjusted net bank credit so the total lending amounts which remain in the hand of bank so let's say if there is uh, any bank let's say um, the anbc of uh, state bank of india or the total lending amount um, with the state bank of india is 100 crore rupees so out of this out of this 100 crore rupees uh, they have to lend or state bank of india have to lend 40 crore rupees to the priority sector those eight uh, different different uh, uh, areas so they can give loan uh, this 40 this is the mandatory rule okay this is rule one basically so they cannot uh, deny this particular thing otherwise rbi will make some penalties so if you are running a commercial bank in india so whatever is your anbc you have to lend 40% of your anbc to the uh, priority sector okay next one a uh, loan to individual for educational purpose including vocational uh, courses not exceeding das are considered eligible for priority sector so if any bank is giving loan to uh, any students okay education loan so till what amount they can consider that particular one as a priority sector so what will be your correct answer 20 lakh rupees okay so it is for domestic education as well as abroad education or international education okay so if let's say state bank of india give a, a loan to mr x uh, amount uh, 25 lakh rupees so out of 25 they can show 
ट्वेंटी uh, लैख रुपीज इन देयर वाइल दे रिपोर्ट देयर पी एस एल टू आर बी आई ओके सो ट्वेंटी लैख इज द मैक्सिम लिमिट विच कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर लैंडिंग एज पर द आर बी आई प्रोविजन ओके सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टेन लैख फॉर डोमेस्टिक ट्वेंटी लैख फॉर इंटरनेशनल बट नाउ इट इज फॉर डोमेस्टिक एज वेल एज इंटरनेशनल द लिमिट इज सेम दैट इज ट्वेंटी लैख रुपीज नेक्स्ट वन आर आर बी इज रीजनल रूरल बैंक हैव टू लैंड वट परसेंट ऑफ देयर ए एन बी सी टू द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर और देयर ओवरऑल लैंडिंग टू द प्रायोरिटी सेक्टर सो आई जस्ट गेव यू आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो वॉट विल बी योर करेक्ट आंसर सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ओके सो डोमेस्टिक कमर्शियल बैंक लाइक प्राइवेट सेक्टर बैंक पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक दे हैव टू लैंड फोर्टी परसेंट बट आर आर बीज दे आर मीन इफ यू सी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आर आर बीज दे वर बिल्ड टूअर्ड द रीजनल एंड रूरल एरियाज and if you if you study the regional and rural area so they are something related to your uh, uh, priority areas okay so that's why next one what is the overall target for agriculture sector uh, under psl category so as we told like uh, commercial bank they have to lend 40% to the uh, priority sector so out of this out of this they have to lend 18% towards agriculture okay so let's say this 40% equal to 100 crore rupees so out of this 100 crore rupees 18 crore rupees they have to land in priority sector or they have to land in agriculture and allied activity activities okay so the further distribution is 18% in uh, agriculture 7.5% uh, for uh, msmes or uh, 12% for weaker section so we have the further categorization as well so what will be your correct answer your answer will be 18% so out of uh, 40% they have to lend 18% in agriculture so if the 40% is equal to 100 crore rupees so out of this 100 crore rupees 18 crore rupees will go to priority sector okay so i hope you getting this particular one so please do take care about this so whatever is their anbc so their anbc is uh, they have to lend 40% let's say this anbc equal to 100 crore rupees so out of this 100 crore rupees they have to lend 18% in agriculture 7.50% in msmes 12% in the week with weaker section so this is the further classification okay next one which of the following area covered under agriculture psl norms so if you talk about the agriculture it is further categorized among three parts so these are agriculture infrastructure okay so uh, like if bank give loan for the uh, uh, construction of canal and all these things or any kind of infrastructure related to agriculture ancillary activities like allied activities which is related to um, agriculture small and marginal farmer direct loan okay so what will be your correct answer all the above so option d will be correct answer so agriculture is an important part of priority sector lending because if you see so um, out of 40% they have to lend 18% to the uh, priority sector so if if you talk about the further classification so we have uh, this one as well okay so uh, agriculture infrastructure and uh, ancillary activities these are three uh, major areas where we generally further classified or bank they generally lend their money in agriculture sector okay so again this is very very important one please do remember this one next one to ensure the uh, continuous flow uh, of uh, credit to priority sector the uh, compliance of bank will uh, be monitor on which basis so this this question is generally based on the uh, reporting cycle of uh, psl okay so every bank they have to land in uh, priority sector so how they are landing are they are going to achieve their target or they are missing their target so they have to report uh, uh, with rbi on quarterly basis so what will be your correct answer in every 3 months which means on quarterly basis okay so again this is uh, please do remember this one if there is any shortfall so rbi will ask and they have to manage through a psl certificate or they have to deposit uh, uh, they have to lend more in uh, these specific areas next one bank having shortfall in um, lending priority sector shall be allocated amount for contribution to das fund established uh, with nabard so let's say if there is any bank whose uh, psl target is 100 crore rupees suppose that there is xyz bank state bank of india whose uh, 
PSL target for financial year 22-23 is 100 crore rupees. But they achieve only 90 crore rupees. So there is a shortfall of 10 crore rupees. Okay. So now how RBI will manage this particular fund? So RBI will uh, direct to State Bank of India. You have to deposit this particular money with uh, a Rural Infrastructure Development Fund. Okay. RIDM which is a fund under NABAR. Okay. So if any commercial domestic commercial bank, they miss their PSL target. So they have to deposit that particular money with RIDF under NABAR. And if it is foreign bank, they have managed that particular one with a SIDB Industrial Development Fund. Or even they can buy uh, the PSL certificate from other bank as well. Let's say there is a bank. This is the case of State Bank of India. There is a bank which is, uh, let's say it is PNB. Okay, so PNB's target was suppose that 70 crore and they landed 80 crore rupees uh, in the uh, priority sector. This was target and this was the landing. So they have a surplus money of 10 crore rupees. So uh, State Bank of India, they can buy a PSL certificate from P Punjab National Bank as well. Or the other option is they can deposit that particular money with RIDF under NABAR. I hope you're getting this particular thing. So little bit technical, but if you'll study the, uh, if you'll watch the fundamental video, so you'll easily get these particular question. Okay. Chalo, next question. Uh, consider the following statement and find out the wrong one about PSL. So for education loan to individual for educational purpose, including vocational courses, not exceeding 10 lakh rupees. So this is 20 lakh. This is an incorrect statement. It should be 20 lakh. Housing loan to individual up to 35 lakh. Uh, in metropolitan uh, cities, which is correct one. Housing loan 25 lakh in rural areas. Again, this urban law centers, uh, 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 construction and purchase. This is correct one. Loan up to 5 crore per borrower for uh, setting up school or uh, drinking water facilities, sanitation, or which is part of infrastructure development. This is also correct. Okay. So statement A is incorrect about uh, PSL uh, landing norms. Okay. So, uh, Quickly go through this one. I'll just uh, come back in one minute. Okay. So. So uh, next question on your screen guys, please uh, quickly go through the question and try to answer because uh, we already discussed this particular question. Okay. So uh, the question is the loan under the loan to unit under Khadi and village industries sector are uh, eligible for classification under the um, sub target of dash percentage prescribed under micro enterprises. So whenever we talk about my, this is like Khadi in the village industries is part of um, micro enterprises and for limit for this particular category is 7.50 percent okay so a will be correct answer for this particular one so um, bank they have to lend 40 percent of their ANBC to the priority sector so let's say if 40 percent equal to 100 crore rupees okay if we, it is equal to 100 crore rupees so out of this 100 crore rupees 7.5 percent they have to lend in MSMEs, micro, small and medium enterprises. Okay, MSME. Okay, so MS, this is part of uh, Khadi and industrial is part of your MSME. So um, uh, the 18% uh, in agriculture, 12% to the weaker section. So I hope you remember that particular one. So you'll easily answer this one. Loan up to uh, uh, 
a limit of 10 crore per borrower for building health care facilities including ayushman bharat in tier 2 uh, to tier 6 uh, cities under social infrastructure okay so this is something related to this is like this was introduced in 2019 uh, 20 okay and basically for infrastructure development like school colleges and all it is 5 crore rupees but under ayushman bharat for any kind of healthcare development so the amount limit is rupees 10 lakh 10 crore okay so do remember the differences in normal social infrastructure development like building of uh, school colleges and all so it is 5 crore rupees but we have a special case of Ayushman Bharat. So under this, the construction of healthcare services, we have a limit of 10 crore rupees. Okay. So here you can see uh, this particular notification as well. So loan up to 10, 5 crore per borrower for setting up school drinking water facilities, sanitation facilities. Uh, it include construction of urbanization, um, uh, re uh, reimbursement of house household toilets under and water uh, improvements in household level. Loan up to 10 crore rupees under Aishman Bharat for building of healthcare services. So there is a difference. Okay. And this was the newly added one. So uh, uh, please do remember the difference of 5 crore rupees and 10 crore rupees. I hope you guys getting this particular one clearly. Okay. Chalo, let's move to the next question guys. Quickly go through the question and try to answer the question. Okay. So uh, consider the following statement regarding PSL limit. Uh, for banks and find out the wrong one. So you have to find out the wrong statement. The overall target for domestic commercial bank is 40% of their ANPC, which is correct one. Out of this, they have to lend 10% to agriculture. So this is incorrect statement. Okay, so they have to lend 18% in agriculture sector, 7.5 MSME and 12% for weaker section. So statement B is incorrect with re respect to PSL limits, which is given to the banks. Okay. So uh, here you can uh, uh, see the overall limit as well. Like uh, I took this one from RBA website. So priority sector lending overall target is 40%. Agriculture, it is 18%. And uh, micro uh, enterprises, MSME, it is 7.5. And weaker section, it is 12%. Foreign, uh, if you talk about the uh, foreign uh, bank with less than 12 branches, more than 20 branches, this is same less than 20 branches this was the guidelines now every bank they have more than 20 branches regional rural banks this is the different one okay so in case of weaker section they have to lend 15 percent so here it is 12 percent and here it is 15 percent remaining is same and the overall target is 75 percent small finance bank that is uh, 75 percent then 18 percent 7.5 and 12 percent so this is the guidelines which is given by rbi to uh, different different categories of bank okay next one what will be the total target of uh, priority uh, for primary urban cooperative banks till 31st march 2024 so uh, recently rbi increased the lim psl limit for urban cooperative bank previously it was 50 per uh, 40 percent then it increased to 60 50 percent now the target till 31st march 2024 is 75 percent so what will be your correct answer uh 75 percent option e okay so here you can see the chart as well so again a uh, uh, cutting from rb uh, website so pre previously till 31st march uh, 20 it was 40 percent then it in 21 it is 45 percent then 22 it is um 50 percent in 23 current it is 60 percent and next year by the end of uh, uh, this financial year 22-23 or 31st March 2024 it will be 75 percent okay so try to remember this particular data as well so it will help you in your it is not going beyond uh, 75 percent because that is the fx one okay so uh, this will help you in your upcoming examination as well okay next one which of the following is not part of PSL sector so this is a very simple question MSM is part of PSL, export is part of PSL, import is not part of PSL, education is part of PSL. So what will be your correct answer? Option C will be right answer for this particular question. We already gone through this list as well. So I hope as of now you remember this one. Okay, so try to remember. Okay, and these are like um, if you uh, study the basic economics uh, or the important or the key areas for the overall development of Indian economy. So you will find these are uh, the most important areas for uh, 
the uh, Indian economy. Okay, so uh, guys, um, I did a video on uh, banking ombudsman scheme or the integrated uh, ombudsman scheme 2021 as well. Okay, so uh, please do watch this particular video. This is definitely going to help you in your upcoming examination. And if you like the video, please uh, do share with your friends and uh, do like the video. So guys, uh, I'm trying to help you out with uh, like with different different uh, topics. So I hope you guys enjoying these particular ones. Usually I first come with uh, the uh, learning video, the, fu the fundamental video and then I came up with a MCQ session. Okay, so my suggestion will be first was the learning video or fundamental video. So once you go through that one, then you can practice uh, these MCQs. So these are definitely going to help you in your upcoming examination. Okay. So if you're liking these kind of sessions, so please uh, do mention in comments section. It will give uh, motivation and even uh, do share with your friends so other can also watch it. And uh, one request guys, if you are new to my channel, please uh, do subscribe and uh, 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 tell your friends as well so other can also join us okay so this is it from my side thank you for watching this session bye bye take care all have a nice day